Funding for Scholastic Scrimmage is provided by the Air Products Foundation. The foundation is supported by donations from Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated as a charitable organization whose contributions provide support for educational, cultural, health, and community programs in the Lehigh Valley. The series is also made possible by Channel 39 School Services participating districts. WLVT-TV presents Scholastic Scrimmage, a weekly program featuring teams from Lehigh Valley High Schools in a contest of quick recall. Tonight's teams are from Liberty High School and Parkland High School. Your host for Scholastic Scrimmage is Harry Price. Good evening and welcome to Scholastic Scrimmage. We'll meet the teams and the coaches, then we'll begin the contest. From Liberty High School, they're all seniors. Jonathan Flesher, Jessica Weiss, the captain is Laura Schott. Schneider, Adam Kelly, and the coach is Joe Williams, teacher of mathematics. I said Adam Kelly, it's Adam Shelley, sorry for that, Adam. Let's go on over to Parkland High School, Conrad Chu. Conrad is a junior, the captain is Todd Garber, a senior, Keith Schleicher, a senior, Tom Johnson, a senior, and the coach is Barbara Travaskas, teacher of social studies. Channel 39 is pleased to announce that at the conclusion of the series, after the championship contest, the Air Products Foundation will present a $1,500 scholarship award to the championship high school and a $750 award to the runner-up high school. Both of these awards will be given in the name of the Scholastic Scrimmage teams. Remember, the answers to the questions on Scholastic Scrimmage require rapid recall of factual information and aren't necessarily indicative of academic training. The rules for the contest are as follows. On toss-up questions, you'll be given 10 points for each correct answer, and 10 points will be deducted for an incorrect response. If you answer incorrectly, then the opposing team will have an opportunity to answer without penalty. They'll receive five points for a correct answer in this situation. Of course, each correct answer to a toss-up question gives you the opportunity to answer a bonus question without penalty. Team members may confer only on the bonus questions and the Answers to these questions should be given to me by the two team captains. A buzzer will signal the end of the contest. If it sounds while a question is being asked, the game stops. If the buzzer goes off while you're answering, however, you will be permitted to complete your answer, but no bonus questions will be asked. Are there any questions? If not, we'll begin the contest with our first toss-up. We're preparing for a 15-point bonus. Listen carefully. What is the name of the British Ocean Liner? Sunk off the coast of Ireland by a German submarine Parkland, Tom. Lusitania. The Lusitania is correct. It was sunk uh, off the coast of Ireland by a German submarine in May 1915, resulting in the loss of over a thousand lives, including more than 125 Americans. Really increased America's sentiment for entrance into World War I. Here's your bonus, a 15-pointer, Todd. It's a geographical bonus question. Listen carefully again. The Soviet Union, East Germany, Poland, Czechoslovakia, and Hungary are the five most familiar countries among the nine communist countries of Eastern Europe. For five points each, name three of the other four East European communist countries. Bulgaria, Romania, 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 Todd. Bulgaria, Romania, and Yugoslavia? You are correct. The fourth would have been Albania. You've got your 15 points. Here's your toss-up, looking this time at a 10-point bonus. For 10 points, how many seconds are there in one hour? Parkland, Keith. 3,600. Correct. Bonus, 10-pointer. It's a bonus question to test your spelling skills for five points each, and no correcting yourself. Once you've begun, I want you to spell the following two words. Here's the first one. Labyrinth. Todd. L-A-B-Y-R-I-N-T-H. Correct. The second one, and I'll give you the meaning, it means to convert into or become a liquid. It liquefy. Todd. L-I-Q-U-I-F-Y. Incorrect. It's L-I-Q-U-E-F-Y. You got one out of the two. Here we're going for a 10-point bonus, your toss-up. Different forms of elements, differing in numbers of neutrons, are called what? Parkland Keith. Isotopes. Correct, Keith. Bonus again, Todd. Ten-pointer. It's 
bonus question this time to test your knowledge of the constellations. I'll give the English nicknames of two constellations. You give me the Latin names. Five points apiece. First one, the Archer. Orion. Orion. No, no, no. Sagittarius. All right. Todd. Sagittarius. Correct. The Queen of Ethiopia. Sheba. 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 Go ahead. Todd. Sheba. Not Sheba. Cassiopeia. One out of two for five points. Here's a visual. It's on the monitor. I want you to simplify that expression. Sparkling Keith. Negative six. Correct. Bonus ten-pointer. For five points apiece again, express these formulae in qualitative terms. The area of a parallelogram. Todd? The base times the height. Correct. The area of a trapezoid. Todd? One half times the height times the sum of the bases. Correct. Here's your toss-up going for a ten-pointer. Give me the name of the uh, Macedonian king whose son Alexander became known as Alexander Liberty. Laura. Philip. You are correct. He became known as Alexander the Great for his conquests, conquest, Philip II of Macedon. <coughs> Here's your bonus, Laura, for you and the team. It's a ten-pointer, five points apiece. Who are the antagonists, the antagonists in the Punic Wars? Carthage. Laura? Rome and Carthage. Correct. Toss up, looking at a ten pointer. For ten points in the nursery rhyme or nursery story of Billy Goat Gruff. Billy Goat Gruff, who lived under the bridge? Liberty, Laura. Troll. An ugly troll, correct. Bonus, Laura, for you and the team. I'll describe two terms from the world of economics. For five points apiece, identify the terms. Your first term has this definition the fees paid for insurance. Premium. Laura? Premium. Correct. The value of a property minus any debts owed on it. Mm -hmm. Laura? Mortgage? Not mortgage. It's equity. Five points out of a possible ten. Looking this time at a 15-point bonus, your toss-up. Reactions which absorb energy are given what name? Parkland Todd. Endothermic. Correct. 15-pointer in biology. Photosynthesis is a complex set of reactions requiring enzymes, chlorophyll, and light energy, but it can be summarized as a process by which two particular chemical compounds are used to produce two other compounds. For five points, and this is the first part of this two-parter, for five points, I want you to name the two compounds that are the raw materials for photosynthesis. Water plus glucose, Wait, water and carbon dioxide. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, water. Todd. Water and carbon dioxide. Correct. Next one. Five points again. Name the two compounds that are the products of... Five points apiece, Patrick. Yes. Uh, name the two compounds that, that are the products uh, of photosynthesis. Total ten-point problem. Glucose and oxygen. Yeah. Todd? Glucose and oxygen. You are correct. You've got your 15. Going for a ten-point bonus. It's a toss-up again. Uh, uh, art visual. Look at your monitor. The pain known as pinky which you're now looking at on the monitor, is in the Huntington Gallery. By which of the following artists was it painted? Would it be George Romney, Thomas Gainsborough, Sir Joshua Reynolds, or Sir Thomas Lawrence? Parkland, Conrad. Gainsborough. Incorrect. Over to Liberty. No conferring. Jessica. Lawrence. Lawrence, it is. Sir Thomas Lawrence. You got five on the rebound, Jessica. Again, the bonus goes to Liberty for Laura and the team. I'll name two contemporary musical virtuosos. For five points each, you identify the instruments on which they perform. The first one, Yo-Yo Ma. Um, Laura? Cello. Correct. James Galway. Flute. Laura? Flute. It's correct again, the Irish, Irish flutist or flautist. We're going for a ten-point bonus. Toss up. Quartering British troops in the colonies led to such friction that on March 5th, 1770, British soldiers fired into an angry group of colonists in an, it's Liberty, Jessica. The Boston Massacre? Correct. In uh, a New England city, killing five of them. By what name is this incident known? The Boston Massacre. Bonus, Laura. France entered the Revolutionary War by an open alliance with the American colonies on February 6, 1778. Two other nations also engaged in warfare against England during the war years, but without definite allegiance with the colonies. 
For five points apiece, I want you to name those other two countries. Okay. Laura? Prussia and Spain. I'll accept Spain, not Prussia, Holland. Uh, in fact, the Fourth Anglo-Dutch War took place uh, during part of the revolution, Fourth and Final Anglo-Dutch War. Here's your toss-up, going for a ten-pointer. According to the Bible, what did God make on the day before he rested? Parkland Key. Man. Judges, we accept. Here's your bonus. Ten-pointer. What term describes a short, fictitious narrative with a moral or religious point? Fable. Fable. Fable, yeah. Todd. A fable? Not a fable. Parable. Toss up. Going for a ten-pointer. In two similar triangles, corresponding altitudes, and you will probably want to use paper and pencil. Let's start again. In two similar triangles, corresponding altitudes are six and nine units long. For ten points, what's the ratio of the areas of the two triangles? Parkland Keith. Four to nine. Correct, Keith. Bonus on the monitor. In the real numbers, I want you to solve that equation 4x, that's x to the sixth plus 4x to the fourth plus x squared plus 4 is equal to zero. A bonus question for Parkland. Todd. X equals zero. Not X is equal to zero. Uh, if X were equal to zero, it would be four is equal to zero. It's the empty set. Uh, there's no real value of X, which will satisfy that equation. Going for a ten-pointer, toss up. The Connecticut River is the boundary between what two states? Parkland, Conrad. Vermont and New Hampshire. Correct, Conrad. Bonus. For Parkland, I'm going to name two Canadian capital cities for five points apiece. You identify the province or territory of which they're the capital cities. The first one is Halifax. Nova Scotia. Yeah. Todd? Nova Scotia. Correct. Whitehorse. Um, Yukon Territory. Yukon. Todd? Northwest Territory? Yeah. Incorrect. I would accept Yukon Territories. Yukon Territory. I think Conrad was giving you that one. Five out of ten. Going for a ten-pointer. Name the five-letter, five-letter prefix that starts with the letter Q and means seemingly. Liberty, Jessica. Quasi. You are correct. Bonus ten-pointer, Laura. Multiple choice. For ten points and from the following, tell me, does an abridged dictionary mean lists all the words in the language or gives detailed information about the derivation and use of all words in the language or... Third, does not list all the words in the language. Or fourth, gives synonyms in every entry. Laura. Does not give all the words in the language. You are correct, which was the third one I gave you. Here's your toss-up, going for a ten-pointer. If methane is oxidized completely, how many oxygen molecules are consumed for each methane molecule? No response. Uh, it was a toss-up. It would be 2. CH4 plus 2O2 is equal to CO2 plus 2H2O. We're going to take a halftime break now with the score at half. 125 for Parkland, 85 for Liberty. Excellent contest. <laughs> Jonathan Flesher, during our first round, we ask our contestants to tell us about their families. Would you please begin? My father's a chaplain at Lehigh. My mother's a professor at Penn State. And I have a sister in college, sophomore at Haverford. Thank you, Jonathan. Jessica Weiss. My mother is a medical technologist at Easton Hospital, and my stepfather is employed by Bethlehem Rebars. Thank you, Jessica. Captain Laura Schott Schneider. I'll get that name someday, Laura. You've been on for four years, right? <laughs> Um, my mother is a professor of mathematics at Moravian College, and my father is the acting dean of Moravian Theological Seminary. Thank you, Laura. Adam Shelley. My father is principal of Northeast Middle School. My mother is a bookstore clerk, and I have two sisters who attend Liberty. Thank you, Adam. Thanks to Liberty. Let's go over to Parkland. Conrad Chu. My father is a manager at United Coal Company. My mother is assistance programmer at Lehigh University, and I have a brother in ninth grade at Springhouse Junior High. Thanks, Conrad. Todd Garber, the captain. My father is an electrical engineer at PPNL. My mother is an office manager at the Jewish Day School, and I have a sister in ninth grade at Springhouse. 
Thanks, Todd. Keith Schleicher. My father works for Air Products. My mother works for Prudential. I have an older brother at, who works for DECA Battery. I have an older sister who is currently unemployed. And I have an older brother who works for Donmore Electric. And I have a younger sister in the eighth grade at Troxel Junior High School. You jumped around there, but you got them all? Yeah. Good. Thanks, Keith. Tom Johnson. My father is a pharmaceutical representative for Burroughs Welcome. My mother is a sales representative for Reading Resources. I have two brothers, Andrew and Michael, in the eighth and ninth grades. Thank you, Tom. Thanks to Parkland and to Liberty. Again, the score at half is 125 for Parkland, 85 for Liberty. Very close. We're going to begin the second half with the toss-up. For 10 points, identify by number the constitutional amendment which prohibits slavery in the U.S. Parkland, Conrad. 13th. 13th, ratified December 6, 1865. You're correct. Bonus, 10-pointer. Multiple choice. Which of the following events came last? The Battle of Saratoga, the Declaration of Independence, or the Stamp Act Congress? Saratoga, Saratoga, Saratoga. Todd? Saratoga. Saratoga, uh, that would be 1777. Of course, uh, July 4th, 1776, Declaration of Independence and the Stamp Act Congress was 1765. You have your 10 points. Going for a 10-point bonus again. Here's your multiple choice toss-up. From the following, give the definition of genre. That's G-E-N-R-E. -E. Does it mean ancestry, ghost, gender, or liberty? Jessica? Three. Three was given as gender. It's incorrect. I will do it for Parkland. And the following, give the definition of genre. That's G-E-N-R-E. -E. Ancestry, ghost, gender, or style. Tom? Style. Style. It would be the fourth one I gave you. Here's your bonus. You got five on the rebound, Todd. Ten-pointer. In a Thomas Hardy novel, Clem Yobright returns from Paris to open a school. What's the title of that book? Jude the Obscure. No, not Jude the Obscure. It's Return of the Native. Going for a ten-pointer. Toss up. Listening. Listen to the excerpt. This piece of work is entitled Summer from the Larger Work. It's Parkland Conrad. Um, Vivaldi's Four Seasons. Uh, we will certainly accept that. I was going to give you the Four Seasons. It, it is Vivaldi. You are correct. Judges, accept. Here's your bonus, a ten-pointer. What standard musical term refers to the controlled undulation of the pitch of a single note? Vibrato. vibrato. Todd. Vibrato. We'll accept. Vibrato is correct. For ten points, name the mythical. This is a toss-up. Name the mythical Minnesota hometown-created by storyteller Garrison Keeler. Liberty, Laura? Like well Balloon. Correct, Laura. Ten-point bonus, Laura. This British statesman died in 1987. He'd served as Great Britain's uh, Conservative Prime Minister from 1957 until 1963, and his family was prominent in book publishing. For ten points, I want you to name him. Laura? No response. It would be Harold Macmillan. Toss up, looking at a ten-point bonus. For ten points, spell the four-letter suffix that means, quote-unquote, inflammation of. Parkland, Keith. I-T-I-S. Correct. Pronounced itis. Here's your bonus. For ten points, I want you to name the four-letter combining form that means many. M-A-N-Y. Todd. P-O-L-Y. You are correct. For Polly. I just wanted you to name it. I don't think I said spell it, but we'll accept that, right? Going for a 10-point bonus. Here's your toss-up. How many subsets has a set containing six elements? Liberty. Adam. Um, 64. Correct. Two to the sixth power. Here's your visual. It's a bonus on the monitor. If you're given that f of x is equal to 119x minus 682, what's the value of f of c minus f of t divided by c minus t? Gosh. 
derivative. Mm -hmm. No response from Liberty. It would be 119. It's going for a 10 point bonus. Here's your toss up, multiple choice. Which one of the following explorers is not credited with visiting what is known as the continental United States? Balboa, Ponce de Leon, Christopher Columbus, or Coronado? Liberty, Adam. Columbus. Columbus is correct. He did not visit the continental U U.S. The other three did. Here's your bonus, a 10-pointer. In which of the following paired events did the first event lead directly to the second? Here's your first uh, pairing. Bombing of Pearl Harbor and the annexing of Hawaii by the U.S. Second pair. Purchase of Alaska, Cold War with Russia. Third pair. Failure of League of Nations and World War I. Fourth pair, assassination of President Garfield and the passage of the Pendleton yeah. Civil Service Act. Yeah, that's right. Laura? Um, the assassination of Garfield and the Pendleton. You are yeah. correct. The Civil Service Act was a re direct result of Garfield's assassination. Going for a ten-pointer. Name the subordinating conjunction, the subordinating conjunction in the following sentence. Although the team was small, it played well. Parkland, Todd. Although. Correct. Bonus ten-pointer. Chief Bromden is a character in what novel by Ken Kesey? Todd? One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Correct. He's the Indian giant who finally uh, puts R.P. McMurphy away. Going for a 10-point bonus. Toss up multiple choice. From the following, what term is used to describe a group of organisms that are descended asexually from a single an ancestor. Again, it's multiple choice. Parthenogenesis, clone, hybrid, or fertilization? Parkland, Tom. Clone. Clone is correct. Your bonus, a 10-pointer. The compound potassium, potassium permanganate, uh, evidently contains potassium. For five points each, name the other two elements in potassium permanganate. Manganate is Todd? Oxygen and manganese. Correct, on both accounts. Going for a 10-pointer. Toss up. Reykjavik is the capital of what country? Parkland, Conrad. Iceland. Correct. Bonus again for Parkland. What was the name of the naval battle in which Lord Nelson destroyed the combined French and Spanish fleets? Trafalgar. Todd? Trafalgar. Trafalgar, where Nelson was fatally wounded. Correct. Going for a 10-pointer. Toss up. Multiple choice. From the following, give the definition of a plum. A-P-L-O-M-B. Would it be poise? Would it be contentment? Corpulence or pardon? Liberty, Laura. Poise. You are correct, Laura. Bonus, Laura. 10-pointer. Sir John Falstaff appears in several of Shakespeare's history plays. For 10 points, in which of Shakespeare's comedies do we meet this character? Laura? Mary Wives of Windsor. Correct. Toss up. Going for a 10-pointer. According to the theory of plate tectonics, the plates are about 100 kilometers thick and are strong and fairly rigid. For 10 points, give me the 11-letter geological term for the outer 100 kilometers of the solid Earth. We call it the lithosphere, the solid globe of the Earth. Toss up. Mathematics on the monitor. If three-fifths, the point, three-fifths K, is a point on the unit circle, what is or are the values of K? Parkland, Keith. Plus or minus four-fifths. Correct, Keith. Bonus, ten-pointer, four Parkland. Give me the standard mathematical names, the standard mathematical names for the following. The first one, the vector representing the sum of two or more vectors. Todd? Composite vector? No, we're looking for resultant, vector. the resultant vector. Second one, a bar graph representing the frequency of measurements in given intervals. Histogram, histogram, histogram. Todd? A histogram? You are correct. You've got five out of ten on the bonus. Toss up. What's the formal term that refers to the right to vote? Liberty, Jessica. Suffrage. Correct, Jessica. Bonus for Liberty. Five points apiece answer these American history questions. First one, who was our president when the doctrine of judicial review was set in the case of Marbury versus Madison? Laura? 
Madison? No, uh, it was Jefferson. James Madison was Jefferson's Secretary of State, and he was sued by William Marbury. Second one, which president sent the Great White Fleet around the world in 1908? Roosevelt. Laura. Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. We all accept that. Uh, it was just a display of big stick diplomacy, in a sense. Toss-up, going for a ten-pointer. Name the American literary figure whose poems include I felt a funeral in my brain. Liberty, Jessica. Emily Dickinson. And this is my letter to the world. You're correct, Jessica. Bonus 10-pointer, Laura. In what century did Chaucer's band of pilgrims make their pilgrimage to Canterbury? Laura? 14th. You are correct. Toss up. In the early 1900s, hundreds, the Industrial Workers of the World, or IWW, was a radical union of skilled and unskilled workers. For 10 points, what was the nickname of the IWW? It would be the Wobblies, uh, apparently a mispronunciation of IWW, Wobblies. Toss up. Homophones have the same pronunciation, but different meanings and origins. For 10 points, give me the common pronunciation of the two homophones that mean the frame on which a coffin is born to the grave, and that's Liberty Laura. Beer. Beer, we will accept for fermented but undistilled malt beverage was the other. Here's your bonus, Laura, 10-pointer. Who's the central character of Plato's dialogues? Mm. Laura? Socrates. Socrates is correct. Uh, that is the final buzzer. That is the final question. The game is over. 265 for Parkland and uh, 190 for Liberty. I'm reading 880 on my monitor here. So it's 265 to 190. Parkland wins. The entire Liberty team is going to be uh, leaving the contest, of course, and I know you're all seniors, you're all going away to college. We want to wish you success. I especially want to say something about Laura and Jessica, who've been with us for years and are really part of our family. They've been outstanding. Parkman, uh, we congratulate you for being a superior group of uh, opponents here, and we're going to see you back here again in late March in the second round against Moravian Academy. Next week's contestants are from Lahighton and Notre Dame High Schools. This is Harry Price. Thank you for being with us, and good night. scrimmage is provided by the Air Products Foundation. The foundation is supported by donations from Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated as a charitable organization whose contributions provide support for educational, cultural, health, and community programs in the Lehigh Valley. The series is also made possible by Channel 39 School Services participating districts. Part of Channel 39's broadcast day is brought to you by Grant from Hamilton Abstract Company, a full-service title insurance.